About a year ago, I saw a review for the Tizo 1938 and I instantly fell in love with it. I instantly knew that I wanted to own this watch. It went onto my wish list of watches that I absolutely had to own, but I needed to find out the right price. Finally, I've been able to find this one, the Tizo 1938, at the right price. Hello, you're watching James. My name's James. You're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. I'm talking about my first ever Tizzo in my collection. is a brand that I really, really like, but I have to admit, I struggle to find one within their range that I like enough that I actually want to own them. I see lots of them, and I think, yeah, that's a nice watch. I really like it, but no, not for me. Or perhaps just not a watch that really stands out to me. I know that they look good. I know that the quality is going to be reasonable. I know the price factor is going to be actually quite good as well but I don't actually want them in my own personal collection. That all changed, however, when I saw the Tizzo 1938. A watch when I first saw it on a review, I thought, I must own this watch. I want this one in my collection. And after 12 months of searching for it, after 12 months of trying to find it for a price that I can justify spending, I now have it in my collection, and now I want to share with you my first impressions of it. So I am pretty lucky that my first Tizzo is the 1938, something that I think is actually rather special and probably rather special within the Tizzo lineup as well. Packaging is pretty cool, I quite like it. it. Has this sort of new packaging with this little stand-up thing of the factory, but it's the watch that I'm really excited about. And when it arrived, there were five things that stood out to me. The first of those things is the looks. This watch looks beautiful. Now, I knew this watch looked great, but realistically, it is the first thing that stood out to me. It jumped off the page, jumped out of the box at me as soon as I picked this one up. The looks. Number one, the looks. This is a beautiful looking watch. Yes, it's very much in the style that I like, so I am going to like a watch that looks like this. But there's something rather special about this. Not just the general looks of the watch, not just the sort of white sort of pearl look of the dial with the blue, black and red, but we've got the blued hands, it's the design as well, it's how the pushes look, it's how the crown looks. There's something rather special about the looks and that is backed up by incredible quality and that's the second thing that stood out to me. This watch is made as well as any other watch in my collection. More expensive watches, other watches that I've handled, it is made in a way that really blows me away. It feels like I'm really wearing a luxury watch. The third thing was more about those pushes because the more I look at them, the more I seem to appreciate this style of chronograph pushes, both the sort of oval shapes of them, but then also this real sort of vintage style crown. You can see how quite thin it is. It is actually a little bit thinner than the normal crown and it really suits this style. Plus it's also very nice to actually then utilize. The fourth thing that stood out to me is the strap. Thankfully, they didn't skimp on the strap. They've got such a nice watch and they've put a really nice strap. Really nice dark brown, really good looking, really comfortable. Comes with this really cool clasp, which is nice and has been very nice to actually wear. And then that leads me into the fifth thing that stood out to me. It's this Valjou movement. What a beautiful looking movement. What a nice performing looking movement. And what a nice movement to have in the collection. But all of those things aside, it has actually just turned out to be probably one of my favorite watches in my collection. I'm going to say that right now that I think this is going to join my top five, maybe even my top three favorites in my collection. And I can't wait to be wearing this one and enjoying it for years to come. One of the only things that really sort of worried me a little bit about getting this watch before I bought it, besides the price, is the size of it. Because this one here, even though it's based on one of its older watches from 1938, they've increased the size dramatically. And on my sort of medium six and three quarters, or around about 17 centimetre wrist, I thought perhaps it might be a touch too big, but it's actually turned out to be beautiful. I don't mind a slightly larger watch anyway, as long as it still fits within my wrist. And this has actually turned out to be absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to do the full review of it because that means I'm gonna get to wear it for the next four to six weeks a lot. And I know I'm gonna do that. But whilst you wait, maybe check these videos out next.